G'day viewers, I'm Chris. Welcome to another episode of The Creative Space. Uh, how about we head on over to that workbench and uh, start getting creative. I'll catch you there. Welcome back to the workbench, everyone. Hope you've all been staying well and have been able to get creative every day because you know it's a great day when you can be creative. So our project today, we're going to be making a uh, twirly whirly or a wind spinner, uh, which is great to hang outside or in, or it can be inside in front of a uh, window. Um, and you're going to need oh, just a couple of things uh, for this project. Um, so you'll need some beads. I've just got some plain wooden beads here, a couple of different sizes. Uh, some wire. Now I've got a coated um, cord covered wire uh, for what I'm doing, uh, but any kind of tie wire will be fine. You'll need some ice cream sticks, craft sticks, paddle pop sticks, whatever you call these where you live. Uh, you'll need some of them. Uh, a pair of just small pliers. Um, and what I'm going to be doing, I'll need to have some clamps and you'll also need a drill and a drill bit. Uh, so let's get started. To make this, what we need to do is to drill a hole into the center of all the uh, ice cream sticks. Now I've got about 50 uh, ice cream sticks that we're going to be using today and look rather than measuring each stick and drilling a hole into each one uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it. If you've got a bench drill then you're all set you can set it up and drill through as many as you like i don't however so what i've created is again out of some scrap bits of timber i've just made up this um, jig i guess you'd call it and what this enables me to do is i will clamp this down onto the workbench i can then stick a um, ice cream stick in there I've marked a line where the center of the stick is and then I can just get the drill and drill a hole through the center. It makes it a lot quicker than having to do one at a time. This one allows me to do at least two um, sticks at a time uh, so it's slightly quicker. But yeah, if um, you've got a bit of timber lying around, then you can just rig up something like that. Just something that gives you a right angle so you can place the sticks in there and get the same measurement each time. Makes it a lot simpler. So let me get this attached to the workbench and we'll get underway. We go. So I'm using uh, for the size uh, wire that I've got I'm using a three millimeter drill bit uh, in the drill today. So it's really easy once you've got the jig. You can drill through them two at a time. Makes it really quick. Um, if you've got a bench, as I said, if you've got a bench drill, you'll even be able to do it quicker. Here's some I prepared earlier. So um, now that we've got our uh, ice cream sticks with holes through the center of, now the fun begins. 
All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is grab one of the small beads. And we're going to, oh, I've cut uh, this wire off at 50 centimeters, um, which gives us a bit of playroom. We're not going to need all of that, but you know, it's easy to cut off than add on. So what we're going to do is to thread this wire on the bead. And then we're simply just going to spin that around and get our pliers. And we're going to twist that around to keep it in place. Just like that. And then I'm going to, uh, you can do whatever design you, you feel like on the bottom, but I'm going to get one of the larger beads and I'm going to thread that on, which kind of hides this bit here and gives a nice base. Uh, when it's hanging up. And this part is really just about threading your uh, sticks on to the wire. So um, that's all we do. So um, I started doing it and I ran into a bit of problem with this uh, wrapped uh, wire. Uh, it decided that it didn't really want to be threaded through the whole and all the um, wrapping started to come off. So what I've done is I've just covered this tip with super glue uh, and letting that dry and hopefully that will make it easier uh, to thread through. So if you've got a wrapped cord or wrapped wire like this, that could be a hint to do. Right, there we go. Um, the super glue on the end of that was a lifesaver, uh, made it so much easier to thread through. So that's 50 sticks on there, but you know what? I want it a bit wider, a bit longer. So um, I'm going to put some more on, uh, maybe another, another 50. Alrighty, there we go. Um, so I've actually just put 80 uh, sticks on there. I thought 100 might be just a bit too long. So I ended up just uh, doing 80. Uh, now, what uh, we're going to do is just reverse the beads that uh, we've put on the bottom. So we're going to put a large one on there and then a small one. Now at the top of the, the wire we're just going to do a loop so basically we're just going to fold that over and because this is pretty um, light wire we can just twist that with our fingers. Just like so, and that's going to give us the loop that we're going to use to hang it up with. Now, the thing is, if we just left it like that, uh, the paddle pop sticks or the ice cream sticks aren't going to form anything. They're just going to fall apart. Uh, like uh, They won't form the spiral, I mean. So uh, what we're going to have to do is pull down on this uh, to uh, get it really tight. 
So one way is just basically brute force. We pull on the wire and we push down on the beads like that. And then what we're going to do is fold this wire over that bead and then wrap it around. Um, and that's going to keep it nice and tight. So let's give it a go and see if we get there. And actually the more that you can kind of get in between these two um, will make it nice and tight. And I think that's probably about as much as I can do that. And so then we just twist that around and then we have the loop just on the back there. And then it's time to shape the spiral. So basically we just push them around like so. And that gives us our rough shape. And then we can go back and kind of finesse it a bit to give it more shape. And this middle bit's not playing, there we go. And once you hang that up, you'll be able to get the shape even a bit more refined but there we go that then is your wind spinner uh, you can then either leave it plain like this you can stain it uh, if you're going to be hanging outside it will make it last longer or you may want to paint it um, different uh, color or something the other option that you can do is of course you can buy colored uh, craft sticks and you could use them as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this craft and uh, look, we'd love to see photos of your end product as well. So um, either head over to our Facebook page and post them up or um, leave a comment in uh, down below. So there's your wind spinner. Well, unfortunately, that's another episode of The Creative Space Done and Dusted. Uh, if you've enjoyed this one, then please ring that bell uh, so you get notified of new content. Um, subscribe to the channel, really appreciate that as well. Uh, share this with your friends, comment below. We'd love any feedback that you might give us um, of future projects and things that we uh, can put on the show. So until next time, remember, that every day is a good day to be creative. See ya.